Let's talk about that car ride. Golly. <laughs> Let's talk about that car Mark ride. Mark three right? Lincoln. I can tell you the car, the color. Yeah. Yeah. And so what are what are the what are the thoughts that are going in your head? Because here's here's something like especially with people my age, like I was I was looking at some demographics yesterday. We got people that are like in between twenty four to, you know, thirty, I would say, that are mostly watching things like this. And um and one of the big things that affects our generation today is, and we were talking about this yesterday, is, you know, the mental health, the depression, the, 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 just the, the buildup of life situations that happen to us externally affects our internal. And we start thinking to ourselves, man, can we really do it? Can mm-hmm. we, can, you know what I'm saying? Can, can I, can I live the life that I, that I know that I'm called to live? And and for you, it got to the point where you were looking, you were looking to end it, essentially. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, what, what were the statements or the questions or the things that were just going on in your head in that moment? Basically, you know, why am I in this position? Um, if I was dead, it would be better for my daughter. It'd be better wow. if she never met me. It would be better for everybody if I was gone. And, and the biggest thing that I didn't have... Okay. And... I didn't have any men in my life. Zero. Interesting. Zero. Yeah. So I didn't have a man I could call up and say, hey, Craig, your dad, or, yeah. or you know, Barry or Jeremy. I could sit here and just name them off. Uh, you know, Max, all these guys that are in my life now. I could have called any one of those back then and said what I'm going through. And they would say, brother, man, let, let's get together and have a coffee. Let's talk through your options. Mm-hmm. I had nobody. Zero. Yeah. So... That's the biggest thing. Uh, what I tell people now is surround yourself by good men, in my case, or good people. I mean, there's a lot of women I could call right now. Of course. But, you know, I mean, I'm not isolating it. But, you know, surround yourself by people you trust that you can tell your most intimate secret to. And, you know, it's, it's protected. Yeah. And now I'm an open book. And what I do now is if I have a problem, I give it to 10 people. And I only own a tenth of it. <laughs> and we come up with a solution. Yeah. And and it's amazing, but you need to have a brother in Christ especially. Yeah. Number one. Yep. Um, and there's other men. I, I was talking to one when I walked in the door. Mm-hmm. I, I respect that man so much, um, and I could call him, and we could share my problems, and we could walk through them together. Yeah. That's huge. I have several men in my life now. I couldn't do what I do without those men. Yeah. Period. I'm with it. I'm with it.